Hey, hey! You are watching the Pinball Blodcade, whatever the hell it is, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's been too long. The Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Stuff Rebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap, and joining me as always, halfway across the world, Jared Morgs. <laughs> G'day, everyone. How are you going? <laughs> That was that was talking about just a total mental brain fart. I'm sitting there looking at all the screens and making sure what's going on, and then I'm yeah. like, Dire, what, what, what show is this? Derp, 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 derp. <laughs> Something of that yeah. nature, right? Yeah. Oh. I, w- I was just saying that uh, I haven't been doing any of the uh, weekday streams guy in probably two or three weeks, actually, um, just because yeah. new job has Wait, been taking a long time. You're working for the mat. Yeah. N- no, working for the mouse. Uh, <laughs> looking for the mouse, <laughs> and the, and the same thing goes with you, Jared, because you started also your new job at the same time, and I started mine. Exactly right. Yeah, it's been a very busy couple of uh, couple of weeks, but good, but busy. Yes, good but mm. busy. So it's more about just kind of getting into the uh, swing of things, and then uh, mm. then I can go back to the the hobbies. That's right. Yes. So um, I don't know. Should we should we even blo- bother with the pleasantries or just dive right in, Jared? No, we don't need no stinking pleasantries. Let's go do it. <laughs> okay. So, yes, after five months, well, no, it hasn't been five months. So we, we've we've had known about these uh, these two tables from Zen, which are, of course, the Universal Monsters Pack, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and Monster Bash. We've known about them yes. since the end of July, the final week of July. Uh, mm. Actually, I think we might have known about them prior to that. But we got the beta at the end of July. Yeah. So these have been a long time coming. Yeah. Um, be, and <clears throat> that's a whole interesting discussion as well. But I think it's it's got to do with Zen having other marketing priorities that they need to get out uh, would be my take on it. Yeah, I mean, well, apart from marketing priorities being with uh, Star Wars and coming out on the Switch, and, and I really don't know, nothing has been told to us about... Um, if that was truly the delay uh, mm. or anything. But one thing I can say, and it's been repeated to me numerous times, when you're dealing with third-party licenses, you don't tip your hand until you're able to tip your hand. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so, yeah, we've known about these two tables for a long time, but it was absolutely don't say a word because we don't want anything to be screwed up and uh, then yeah. all of a sudden yank it. Yeah, so the uh, the the burden was on the receiver uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, yeah. The, in that case. If, if so you can call it a burden, super careful. Yeah, yeah, I mean it it sucked to not be able to mention anything. Um, but on the other hand, we got to know. Um, so also you'll notice uh, uh, this is called the Universal Monsters Pack, not Volume Five, and there is again specific reason for that. Volumes yeah. are going to be for unlicensed tables. Licensed tables are going to be called whatever the heck Zen wants to call That's them, right. but they will not be volumes. So hopefully that answers your question, RKD14. Yes. Um, mm. And and I got to confess, I was a little bit uh, sneaky in the Twitters because, no, we never had volume 5 in beta. <laughs> Of where we, yeah, it was a technicality, yes, yes, but it was not volume five. No, we had a beta, pack. not volume five. <laughs> um, which I know that sucks on our part, but we we yeah. it's one of those things where it's like, how many times can you deny uh, the question mm. before it becomes obvious that you know the answer? So you yes. tell a half truth. <laughs> Well, you have to. The NDA compels us. Yes, the NBA, NBA definitely compels us. <laughs> so that being said, it is very, very good to be able to finally go, ah, yes, uh, we can talk about these stinking packs. And it, what what killed me was when everybody's sitting there guessing what the packs are going to be and that they're Halloween packs. It's like, you all nail it right off the bat. I mean... Yeah, you got it really, <laughs> really well. Like, like, round of applause. Yes. Golf claps. Because um, just because yeah, there's not that many Halloween it. themed or monster themed tables that are licensed that could come out and be paired yeah. together, um, because licenses. So yeah, you're right in the money there. Like the, the, the detective sleuths in um, um, digital pinball fans are well and truly on it. Which again is why we can't tip our hand because you guys 
I swear, the little teeniest gap of oh, info. and <laughs> You'll pick it up. Yeah. yeah. And it'll be news. So, yeah. Yeah. So for all yeah. those of you that uh, that are disappointed that it doesn't include, say, Scared Stiff, well, because that's a completely different license. Um, not just... Elvira is not Universal. Um, yeah. So Universal owns the monsters, the Universal monsters. They don't want it mixed with Elvira. That doesn't doesn't work for them. So that's what you got to keep in mind. That's what we've been waiting for in terms of licenses uh, to see what Zen would do when they have the license. How does that play out? And it's very distinct. Licenses are kept into a pack with licenses that are held by the owner, if you, you know, called that. Um, mm. So obviously Universal, they own the Universal Monsters. It makes sense to pair those two together. Um, I suppose it would be possible if there was another Universal themed or, or owned table that Universal owns that they could have thrown that into the mix, but it probably wouldn't have been Halloween, and I don't even know what table that would have been anyway. Uh, so, No, I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. So keep that in mind for future guessing purposes. <laughs> that is going to mm. have to be by the whoever the parent license holder is. That's what's going to be bundled together, but there might even be a situation where... Uh, like. If you think about uh, the Adams family, okay, that's owned by Paramount. Well, are they really gonna pair that with, uh, like, I think what Congo isn't that a Paramount movie? Are you really gonna have? I think so. Yeah, it's like, are or you really was. gonna have? <laughs> or, yeah, or was uh, Adams family and Congo in a pack together? I no. guess if you call it the Paramount pack. But who knows? So that's... I don't know what's going to happen when you get into uh, licensing where it just becomes a single table and stuff. Uh, you see, Universal Monsters Pack made sense. But a... Like a, a movie... A movie studio pack, like named after like the studio, I don't think they go down that path. That's a little bit too... That's the wrong grouping, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it, it'd be it'd be theme related, not studio related. I think you'd have to say, right? Uh, yes, precisely, precisely. Mm. The, the, yeah, so although the studio is going to own it, uh, you still have the licenses underneath that that have their own say so in what's going on. Um, okay, enough with the 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 licensing. Let's get into some other nitty gritties. Uh, yeah. The table comes out. The two tables come out October 29th which here on the States is a Tuesday, and they yes. are going to be uh, $9.99 for the two-pack. Now, again, some people went, what? Why are we paying more? And this is where I just laugh. You got some people that are sit there and go, I'd pay 20 bucks for Metallica. And then you get other mm. people that are like, why are you wanting to pay so much when, you know, three tables for $9.99? And then you got people, I only want to pay for one table because there's other tables I don't want to... Nobody's ever going to be happy. Let's mm. just assume <laughs> that this is the cost of the licensing rolled in. Uh, yeah. And that's why the price Be is... thankful there's no Kickstarter. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah. $9.99 with no Kickstarter? Shut up and take my money. And when you think about that, Farsight used to say that, oh, without the Kickstarter, we were going to have to charge 10 bucks per table. Well, so, here you go. <laughs> there you go, right? Um, yeah. And it's not... Again, when you think about it, wasn't the was the Jurassic Park pack was that nine ninety nine or was that twelve ninety nine? I don't oh, remember. I can't remember. Uh, that was a while there's ago. there's been plenty of times where for a three pack Zen has charged more than they I think they've mm. done twelve ninety nine is the max that they've done. So again, licenses they cost more. Um, things are going to happen. They now. do. Wow, the ch the chat is lighting up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let, let's take a look over here and what do we got here? Um, just with the chat over on the Twitch stream, which if you're not watching the Twitch stream and you're watching it on YouTube, sorry, you're late. You don't get to chat with us. Um, no, <laughs> correct. Let's see. The yeah, there was the Steam leak of the two achievements, so that was kind of a dead giveaway. That was a a two table thing. Zen's gonna have to work yeah. on that if they want to be sneakier because. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. Like it's they know that people are gonna be all over that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um what else do we got here? Uh what will be released for Christmas? Dinner. Yeah, uh, do not know. And I and not... and truth be told, I don't know if there's a Christmas release or not. Yeah. Uh, we are now officially up to date with you guys. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Um, and, and no NDA is is clouding what we're saying here. We actually do not right. know. Which, yes, in the sense, is kind of fun for us because what do we specialize in? Speculation. Yes. When we have yes. information, we can't really speculate because it can be said, well, you're not speculating, you're just telling what you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So that so. makes it more, it kind of makes it more fun for our podcasting or for the Twitch streams here because, yay, speculating again. So, no, I have no That's idea right. about Christmas. Um, What else we got? Uh, yeah, the achievements have been known for a month and a half to two months. Uh, Will Zen release volume five and six this year? I'm going to speculate. Yeah. N- maybe volume five. I don't think we're going to get two volumes by the end of this year. I, I would put money down that they won't be doing volume six. They're not going to flood the market this close to the end of the year with an extra table pack. No, um, no. I think it's reasonable to assume that they will do volume five. Reasonable to assume. Yes. Now, here's a good question. Are they going to be able to find Cactus Canyon? And oh, They're floating around. I reckon, yes. They're floating around, but are they floating around in Europe? Uh, yeah, I'm know. pretty sure the Pinball Museum has one. Okay, if, they have, if the Pinball Museum yeah. has one, then that's not an issue. Number two is Jackbot. What the heck are they going to do with that for consoles? Oh, for gambling. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, because it's just basically a gambling pinball machine. Yes. Now, I have a theory, and go with me on this. The mm-hmm. whole thing that I've been pitching in terms of why the consoles haven't been uncensored yet, and what Zen has said was because it was the ESRB rating, right? And they didn't yeah. want to mess with that. And as they're still producing these tables, they don't know the full gamut of what to include in the ESRB rating. Yeah. So... If they save Jackbot for Volume 6, and it is in that volume, and that basically now encompasses all of the ESRB, because if you start going pre-DMD, there's not too much different in any of those tables that isn't in all of these regular DMD. And the DMD has stuff that's happening on the DMD that you don't have to worry about in alphanumerics also. Mm. So if they save Volume 6, that would make sense to then submit both Volume 6 and their request for the new ESRB and submit to be reserted by Xbox, Switch, and PS4. Uh, so pay all the money that needs to be paid right there in one lump sum at one time rather than having to worry about doing it multiple times and, and keeping up. Mm. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen and that will maybe take care of Jackbutt. So there's my Honestly. guess. You're not going to see the Williams pack until Volume 6. You're going to see the Bally pack first for Volume 5. Go, Jared. <laughs> yeah, I I think you're correct there. They they want to because it's just easier for them. They can pump them out faster and with less constraints. So I think you're probably right there. Um, uh, so over to the uh, the Twitch comments. Yes. Um, More um, comments. I love number one. I love the interaction we're getting today. It's fantastic. Thanks everyone for joining us. Um, so the question is, do we have any insight on the flipper physics delays? This is from um, Pinstrat Stan friend of the show ah the flipper physics delay well yeah it's we don't have any insights officially no No. we can speculate the hell out of it yeah um but it it, it, it's one of those things where it's just like i know it's on their list um and i know that they've run it without tuning it specifically to tables and they're actually pretty stoked at how well it works um Mm. just floating it but uh i think that they definitely want to be able to dial them all in and get them yeah because it literally is per table just like it was with pinball arcade um and i think i mentioned this on twitter in a conversation as well it's it's per table because each table is different and you know this when you go up into the arcade there's there could be two tables side by side like two two of the same pinball machines side by side and they will play differently because physics are weird yes so, because you know i too have watched papa videos and gone, mm. hey, I can do that trick, and then gone out to my machine and go, how come I can't do that trick? And it has yeah. literally to do with the setup of my table, not any digital physics, because I'm dealing with real-world physics and the same table that they're playing, but it's not the same table, is it? <laughs> Slightly yeah. different. Yeah, exactly right. So the question was, um, I don't think they will ever change the classic tables. The original ones was the question. So I 
thing you mean classic tables as in all the other zen tables in the collection that's a big undertaking and i think that would be something that could only happen over with a very long tail approach um i think they do they really want to because i know that people love the physics but that's a bunch of work across all the well and and here's what i'll remind everybody of and i said this a long time ago um and deep has even kind of confirmed it when the next zen originals come out it's his intention to put in the williams physics and design the tables from the get-go so Uh that classic pinball mode on those tables will feature the williams physics if those go over well enough with the general zen community and the general zen community accepts them because you can play it obviously in regular single player and then you can play it in classic single player um yeah if if the general community is like hey that was cool and they get a good response and all of you that have not purchased zen originals because you're like ew zen tables they play funky but i like all the williams ones well if all of a sudden those physics are in a zen original and you're like hey those play great that's what's going to be the encouragement for Zen to go, hey, it would be worth our while to put it into these older tables because there's a new market of game players that will then purchase those things. But it will yep. definitely not be a blanket approach. It'll be a pack-by-pack no. uh, instance. Yeah, I think you're right. It does make sense for them to actually implement it per new table made. Um, but yeah, going back through the whole collection, what we up to 80 tables now, something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, there's like no that. way it's, <laughs> how do you, how do you pick where to start? Like, where would you start? Well, and not only that, that question. Oh, well, where you start, you start with aliens pack. Um, aliens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. It's probably the closest yeah, to actual pinball, right? Like it's got that real bounce to it already. So it would make a lot of sense. Honestly, I would start, I would do aliens. I would do uh son of the, the son of Zeus slash adventure land pack. I would do the Jurassic mm. pack and I would do the, uh, the back to the future ET and Jaws pack. It just says last like four or five that have mm-hmm. been released most recently. Yeah, mm-hmm. that seems like a logical place to do it. Because, because those are the newer tables. Stuff. They already started making the rubber more bouncy in those to begin yeah. with. Um, yeah. And then after that, because like I don't know as much as I would love to see them go back and like you know put them in t- say Tesla. <laughs> I don't oh. think the table will no. improve at all. I think it would actually break the table. Yeah, and I think you know Pinstrat Stan agrees with you there in the chat. Like it's, uh, it's it really is a, it would not be good. I don't think those tables are unique in their own right. They're very Zen, Zen originals. Yeah. Um, in every single way. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what, what my thought of with the with the volumes one through three now, or the physics, in terms of getting input into volumes one through three, um, I, again. It's on their list of things to do. I don't think it's a real high priority. And I think, oh, and I hate you people for this, your goddamn leaderboards. That's yeah. that's the issue, yes. folks. That is the freaking issue because some of you decided, not our listeners, I hope, uh, no. some of you decided to you know, send Zen death threats because, God forbid, your leaderboard score disappeared. Yeah. Really? And I'm dead serious. This is literally the reason why. Because they don't want to implement something that is going to make the table harder and therefore make the leaderboard scores that are currently there unbeatable. Yeah. The only thing the only thing that they could do is have the leaderboard separated, of course, for the um the actual classic mode, which is what the Zen mode. well, this is what Echo says. He, well, they already have that; they're already separated, uh, classic from Zen, uh, or yeah, Williams right. physics from Zen physics. But no, Echo has even commented about this that they're looking into can they implement uh, a separate lead or a new leaderboard? So basically, you'll have your archive leaderboard and then a new leaderboard. But he says it's a lot of work. So uh, yeah, thanks, leaderboard whores. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's just do it and just put out hits on them. <laughs> that solved the problem. <laughs> so, so yeah, address all your ire. Because you can tell this bugs me. It I really, really annoys me that leaderboard people prevent the game maker from putting things into the game. And yeah. if you want to get mad at anybody, go into the threads and yell at the leaderboards people. 
yell at them and say, you're the reason why we do not have volume one through three physics, or the, the Williams volume four physics put into volumes one through three. It's your damn fault because you refuse to have your leaderboards cleared. Yeah, the thing is, though, that they can do, they actually can do whatever they want. <laughs> so if they really wanted to reset the leaderboards, they could go, we're resetting the leaderboards, deal with it. And your death threats and like ridiculous. How are you going to execute those, mate? Like, let's be serious. They can do what they like. But well, well unfortunately, some it. of those people might actually be the type that, you know, it's not a death threat so much as, uh, hey, let's release a virus into the game. Um, or you can get the, you know, what Farsight, you know, because Farsight had the same reason. They were scared to death to reset any leaderboards. And the best that they could do was delete the ones that were obviously hacked, which, again, how did a hack get into the leaderboards i don't know but no well they used to get in there all the time yes. fast side. it was like a feature <laughs> yeah right um yeah and and they i'll tell you this themselves. there was even there was even an issue with this beta uh because somebody went hey chris how'd you wow you did a really great job i forget on what table but you're like number two and i went i'm number two i'm like when did I play what that? On? Am I that good at that table? And yeah, you want to know what it was? It was me playing the beta of Monster Bash and that score getting ported over to one of the other tables. Whoops, same ID. Oops! Yeah. <laughs> and me having to be like, I don't know where that score came from. Yeah, I'm playing a beta. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it's like, ooh, I, I, I just had a really, really good game that game. Yeah, yeah, really good. Yeah, oh, here, here, uh... Pinstress Dan has a good point. Top players will still end up being the top players if the leaderboards are wiped, with maybe the exception of one or two. My point exactly. But Correct. those people that are at the top, they're like, mm, I don't want to spend 15 hours again playing the table. Too bad. Think... Bitch. Yeah, I think they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if you want it enough, you'll do it. And you'll smile about it when you do it. That's what, I mean... I keep on saying it. If you're that good, you'll have no problem reclaiming the title. And isn't it yeah. fun to actually have competition and a challenge where people are constantly challenging you and making you defend your title? Or what? You're. It's like if you were a boxer and, you, okay, great, you won the heavyweight championship, and you're like, I'm done, I'm quitting. No challengers. Well, that's, yeah. what is that? That's nothing. You, that means you're a pansy and you can't handle it. Exactly right. I think it might have been Hurricane that that score got posted to, according to the scratch. Yes, that's, that's what it chat. was. It was Hurricane, because I hate Hurricane. And I was like, how did I get such a good... <laughs> and it was in tournament mode, even better. So... <laughs> oh, no chance. <laughs> no chance that was me doing that. Um, I, I think I legitimately hopped in there to try and get a real score, and I didn't come close. <laughs> no. Um, well. Okay. So, in other words, feel free to wipe that one, Zen, because <laughs> definitely not right. <laughs> Um, now that I've had my, uh, more than 60 seconds of rage with Chris, um, yeah. bring back that feature. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Um, <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, we used to do a feature with, uh, our friend Jeff Strong when he would jump on the uh, podcast and Jeff is a very mild mannered fellow and he would start to get worked up about something. And then we would do, wait, wait, hold on. We do 60 seconds of rage with Jeff and he would peter out after about 20 seconds and couldn't continue. So. Yeah, throwback right. for you all. Um, that's right. Okay, so let's actually... Uh, Welling, we'll get to your comment in a moment. Uh, before we talk about Zach's comment. stuff, let's talk more yeah. about... Um, let's talk more about what has got us so dang excited about... Oh, yeah. ...about these two tables. So, first off, both these tables are, what, Season 1 and Season 2 of... of yep, TPA? they were the... Um... The, the big release, you know, big excitement thing that um, Pinball K tried to do to get people to buy all the packs, and it worked because, you know, they love those yeah. games. But boy, that being rough. said, the graphics blew. And you oh, know what I'm talking about. Terrible. If you look at Monster Bash and the fact that you cannot read a single title of the songs on the CD that's in the middle of the playfield. Um, also, the... Plastics on the slingshots are blurry and fuzzy. Uh, the yes. graphics on the apron are blurry and fuzzy. The graphics are washed out. Um, yeah. They're just not defined and clear. 
Uh, take a look at the plastics on Creature from the Black Lagoon. They're kind of milky white. They're not mm. nice, translucent, clear plastic. Uh, I can say unequivocally, they look phenomenal now. The tables look beautiful. Yeah. You can see that in the B-roll footage that they put up um, the other day. It's like, that's really what they look like. That's not a, like an extra render. They Everything no. looks like that in the game. Yeah, and this is what I got so excited when I saw, what was it, the plastics in Junkyard for the first time, and I went, oh, damn, oh. Whitewater's going to look good, and then I thought, Creature's yep. going to look amazing. Yep. Um, Just the transparency on the ramp. Like, that is a big ramp in Creature from the Black Lagoon, and it really dominates the playfield. So having that right, and having the chase lights not looking like they're a <laughs> photograph with some blinking overlaid on it. Right. You know, big yeah. Big deal. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the 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 render on this is absolutely phenomenal. So you guys are going to be very stoked about that. Um, like I said, the colors are nice and rich, deep. Uh, everything is readable on the play field. It, it, it is a new lease on life, definitely on the looks of these tables. Uh, number two, how the damn things play. Can I say, hell no to vacuum ramps? <laughs> Yeah, yes. no vacuum ramps. No vacuum ramps whatsoever. Now, some of you have been asking, is that main ramp a um, a beast to hit and hard to hit? It's not difficult uh, when it doesn't go to the uh, to the whirlpool. The loop mode. Right. Yeah. When it's just the standard mode, it's pretty easy to hit. Once you get yeah. into jackpot mode and trying to hit that, it's much steeper. Yes, there it becomes much more difficult to... Uh, yep. It's not it a gimme anymore. just... It will just crawl up there on a good shot, right? Like it'll, which is pretty much how it works on on a real table, anyhow. So they've got that down really well. Yeah, um, yeah, and and so again, thankfully that's good. Uh, number two, when you launch the ball on creature, uh, it was very easy to catch the ball with the left flipper, mm. and. Uh, me and Jared have both never experienced that on a real table. <laughs> no. That's um, death if you do that on a real yes. table in most cases. And yeah. uh, once more, it's not quite death, but it certainly makes the ball go wild. Uh, oh, yeah. It's random. a risky shot. Yeah. Uh, risky strategy. Just letting it bounce off, you know, do a dead pass is a little bit risky and kind of crazy. So that's the cool thing about Creature is the ball is much more wild. And something that annoyed me, but then I exploited the hell out of it when playing TPA's version. I literally could cradle a ball with the left flipper and just play the entire game with the right flipper. Almost mm. every shot I could nail with the right flipper. And so when it came time for doing the jackpot and the super jackpots, it was incredibly easy. I could do three go-arounds uh, of super jackpot, which meant getting into the billions was... A standard game for me yeah right um you know whereas now with i don't know what's your uh, did you have that same experience in tpa jared i've i didn't play creature at all in oh. tpa because i loathed it it was a snooze fest and it was boring and something about that game i just don't really enjoy but yeah. that's changed it's changed my opinion about it when i played it in um uh williams uh, um, new collection. Yes, you can do a live uh, <clears throat> live catch on the flipper uh, pin stretch down. Uh, it is possible. I've done it once. It's tricky as hell. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, but you probably will have no problem with a pin stretch stand, so you'll be fine. Yeah, you know. Um, I, I haven't quite gotten the feel yet for when to do the flip in Zens yet. Uh, so I, I've, I've attempted it. It's hit and miss for me, but I know that it can be done because I did actually try it to, and and was able to do it. Um, so those are kind of the, the that's the main thing to know about creature is it is way more difficult now. Um, I've tried, I really have tried. I've yet to hit the super jackpot, and I've mm. been trying, and I've not yet done one. Pinball arcade, like I said, I would get three in one multi ball. So um, monster bash. That's the one, obviously, was in most need of a graphical update. And all you have to do is look at the toys to know that they look so much better. I mean, and yeah. I don't know how often we're we asking Farsight to please re-render the toys. 
Yeah, there was a comment in the in the uh, chat saying that the artist um, that was working for Pinball Arcade desperately wanted to redo those those ones, but of course, that's no way they were letting him go back and do no, it. No, they weren't going to allocate the one. the the time, which is money, to do it. Yeah, <clears throat> they they worked out that season one, they were basically just like they were just selling themselves. Like that, they, they even there was no point, there was no business justification for them to invest any effort in updating those because there was no reason why sales were dropping, which is why they didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, which is which is a terrible thing to 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 do, but it is business, I guess, after all. Yeah, it's business, but it's bad business. Um, bad business because, as, as we as always we said, it, it leaves a really poor first impression on people. Yeah. Um, it's one thing if that's, again, if all they released was volume one and two and that was the end of it, well, then you'd go, oh, okay, well, yeah, no, that's, that's how they made the game. But then volume mm. three came out and we all went, hey! So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, but back to Monster Bash. Uh, so the toys look better. And again, uh, the ball is a little more wild. It's a little more crazy. Uh, hitting the scoop is not such a gimme anymore. You can't just do that 45 times to get Lima's Lament, uh, <laughs> like I did right. on TPA's version. Um, and the the Phantom Flip actually works properly, like it aims yeah, properly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it doesn't need any dial-in time, like it did on, on Pinball K, because of course the ROM reset every time. Yeah. So every time you start a, a new game it had to relearn the um uh the timing so right um and what else was i gonna say about monster bash uh it is still a forgiving table i'll say that much um especially if you play it in the non you know in zen mode uh just a regular single player uh, it's definitely a forgivable or forgiving table. You're going to not have much of a problem getting at least uh, mosh pit multi ball going. Um, the bride ramps are also a little bit more dialed in and easier to, or I shouldn't say they're easier to hit, but it's you can start comboing them better. I never was able to get them comboed right on on TBA. The the left ramp always seemed to be wonky. Uh, for doing that, Excuse me. I don't know. Yep. Uh, um. Okay, hold on. Looking over here, we have a question about the music. The music of Creature. We think all five songs are in there. I can say for sure, Summertime Blues is in there, Willie Handjive is in there, Red River Rock is in there. I believe Rock Around the Clock is in there, Um. but that's because those first three that I mentioned, those are what Ball 1, Ball 2, Ball 3 songs are. Um, yeah. If any of you in the comments section can, can point out when does Rock Around the Clock uh, get played, um, and then there's Get a Job. Now the problem is is that when I looked them up online to hear them, I'm hearing the actual versions of the songs, not the Williams MIDI versions. So mm. I'm not 100% positive, <clears throat> especially with Get a Job. That's the only one that I'm like, I don't know that I've heard that or not, but if it only plays in a certain mode, that could be the reasoning why I haven't heard it yet. Um, or am not recognizing, but I could have sworn that somebody had confirmed that all five songs are indeed in the table. Mm. You heard the, the same thing, cool. though, right, Jared? Yeah, I'm. I'm sure that like as soon as I started playing it in the beta, I went, "Oh, that wasn't in TPAs." And I've got a feeling because of that they've got all five, but that's not confirmed for me either because I I haven't heard all the songs. In fact, I actually had to go. And listen on YouTube for one of the songs that Chris mentioned before the show because I I couldn't re recall it. It was the Get a Job song, um, but yeah, I, I don't recall hearing it. So it must be buried deep in a mode or something like that. Yeah, um, that like I said, that's the only one that I'm not 100 percent positive. But if anybody can tell me where that song plays, or if you can post a link to what the MIDI version of that song sounds like, then I'd be happy to play the game and try and listen for it. Um, mm. I just need to hear what the... Because even the Summertime Blues, it's like, I recognize it, but then you hear the real version, and it doesn't... I mean, there's a big gap between the two. <laughs> it's it's like hearing the mm. elevator version of a song versus the actual song, where you're like, that sounds familiar, but is it? 
I don't know. Um, That's right. So yeah, if anybody wants to uh, post a link to that, that'd be great. But um, I'm 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 pretty certain four of the five are definitely in there. Uh, Rock, uh, Monster Bash, no such problem. It's it's all there. <clears throat> now the other issue that's cropped up, um, and we'll get in. Oh, hold on! Before I get into that, let's go into the the animations because this is where me and Jared were oh, like, yeah. "What?" Um, so the animations that are done on Monster Bash are Insane. so on target. Yeah, yeah, because every single one of the toys functions and moves. And the thing is, is they're in character. They look good with what they're doing. I think my favorite is probably the mummy when his crypt opens up and there's dust particles that float out and the mummy sits up and kind of rah, does his thing. That one looks great. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks incredible. And he's, the thing is with the toys is they they haven't gone full zen and like animated like a completely new character i guess for the toys what they've done is they've taken the moldings of the toys and just added a little bit of life into them so they still look original like the, the mummy for example still has the molded bit at the bottom where his legs are sort of joined together because of the molding process but they've made him twist and turn and move but still kept that original aesthetic and i think that's that's the thing that makes this so convincing yeah because i know some people were hoping that oh you know they'll all of a sudden hold their instruments um, when you earn them and stuff like that, and Zen didn't go mm. that route. They, they, it's, it was almost like there's restraint, but they went full tilt on what they did with it. Um, so those, yeah. the animations, like I said, the animations of the toys is just awesome. As soon as I saw it, it was like, yes, that's perfect. Um, then you go over to Creature, and <laughs> that one they went crazy wild on. So instead of just the hologram image appearing, they just animated a creature swimming back and forth underneath there. And when yeah. things happen, all of a sudden the creature, and you can see it in the in the the footage that's the been produced, yeah, where it pops up out of the play field. But it's not just that's like an end of ball animation, and it looks really cool. But when you get into multi ball, the creature full on crawls out, gets up on the table, and you want to talk distractions? Huge distractions. Because yeah. you can shoot you can shoot your ball right through the creature, but as the ball passes through him, he actually reacts and it'll be like Rah! <laughs> um it's very cool. Yeah, it's it's really cool. And like I said, if you hated the dragon flying around or the Millennium Falcon flying around and found that to be distracting, oh the yeah. creature is enormously distracting, but it's also one of those things where you're like, but it looks so cool, I don't want to eliminate it. <laughs> um yep. So I'll just keep it on, basically. I, yeah. like, I don't care. I want to play. I want to have that experience with it on. I don't really care about high schools and stuff. I want to have fun when I'm playing the game. So yeah. I'll leave it on. Yeah. Um, unless I'm like really stressing out, and then I'll go ahead and turn it off in the moment. But that's what the the beauty yeah. of just the push button is. Just push. Love button, it at the touch of the button. You can get rid of it. Yeah. Um, I think my only gripe, and this is with both tables, the in lanes at the uh, uh, at the top of the. The playfield for so for doing film and doing what was it? The mummy. Yeah, the mummy. Well, are, is that ABC or one two three? I don't remember what's up at the top. There's four lanes at the top. I think. What? No, no. And there's it, only three for Monster Bash. There's three and there's there's four for. There's, um, there's four oh, yeah, for creature right. and three for Monster Bash. Anyway, yeah. point being, uh, it's really hard to tell which ones are lit. Um, they're covered. Yeah. For the most part. Uh, and there's no unlike. Um, theater of magic but there's a mirror up the top there actually showing you what's going on up there there's no like allowance for that um in these two tables right now keep in mind i'm playing it in view two uh because i like a static view i don't like my table to be shifting and moving and everything else like that mm. and so so i'm strictly speaking for view two um that's a little bit difficult to tell where you're at you play different views might not be such an issue but that's my view view eight's the same like even with the dmd view in place it's still it's still hard to okay. actually um see what's going on up there um so that uh, uh that's probably my only my only minor gripe but i've actually had that gripe on almost all of the tables that zen has done currently where it's like mm. hey i can't see it quite as well quite as nicely um okay 
So those are the. That's really why we're we're pumped and hyped. Is the animations are phenomenal. Can't wait for you guys to actually play with them and and see what they've done. Um, you're going to be blown away by just how crisp the tables look. And like yeah. I said, they play really really good. Uh, creature is certainly more interesting now, and it's no longer just a one flipper table. Um, no, like most of the TPA. It's actually a game that I'd actually play now because it's it's that enjoyable to actually flip and it is really it's very close to the specimens i've seen out in the live uh in in arcades so it's something you actually would enjoy playing now because it feels right and that was a big problem with the one on pinball arcade it just wasn't right there's something really off with it no i used to say that i would hate play it because i hated playing it but i was really Mm. good at it Mm. <laughs> so yeah. sometimes I just want to get a high score on the table, and I'm like, "Fine, I'll play creature." I don't really like it, but I'm gonna play creature. Um, yeah. Now, something that also has erupted is, of course, here comes the censorship uh, issues. Mm. Or and this isn't really so much censorship, although there is something censored on uh, creature because the beta version that we've been playing is the family-friendly version. Um, we usually don't get the uncensored until it, the whole thing goes live. Um, mm. So on Creature specifically, the uh, gal at the top of the insert, you got the creature reaching over on one side and the gal is kind of leaning back and has her hand up uh, on the other side. In the regular version, what you would find in TPA on any real machine, she's basically in a bathing suit. Uh, yeah. You know, So full thighs and legs showing, uh, cleavage showing, all that. In the family-friendly version, they essentially put the dress that was on the gal in Attack from Mars and put that on her. Now, the funny thing is, I didn't even notice. Not me neither. (laughs) It didn't even register because they did a really good job of integrating it. It doesn't look slapped on. it, And it's era-appropriate. It is, yeah. It looks to part. Yeah, Yeah. there's even even a... If you look... um, I think this is on Monster Bash, uh, right near the creature, uh, the creature lane. There's a little image of a gal swimming, and she's totally in a 1920s style swimsuit. So, mm. uh, and I was like, "Wait, did Zen, uh, you know, censor that too?" And then I looked at TPA's version. I'm like, "Nope, it's the same there too." So, uh, like I said, they made it era appropriate. It's not so egregious as some of the other no. uh, censorships that they've done. But the main thing that people are losing their minds over right now is, oh my God, they took out the flying V of the Chevy and made it a straight line across. So Does that really make a difference to gameplay? Oh, it makes zero difference to gameplay, but no. I get the aesthetic look, <clears throat> right? And and in addition to that, they took out the Trudeau that was a, across the top because he replaced uh, Chevrolet used the same font and wrote Trudeau over the top of it. Yeah. Obviously, there's the issue with Trudeau and the whole child yeah. molestation, or not the child molestation, but the child pornography thing. Um, I don't know if, where that's gone. I haven't followed it at all because I just Maybe don't the, like following those things. Yeah, gross. Um, but part of the reason why they eliminated the name because that's Chevrolet's font. And basically, Zen... Already paid a whole bunch of money to Universal. Do they really need to pay money to Chevy? Um, probably not, no. Probably not. And that once again, I didn't even notice it until somebody made a point. And I went, oh, okay. I, I don't think I looked. So here's the funny part. Everybody's freaking out over the fact that, or I shouldn't say people are freaking out, but it's being made a point of that the, the flying V is no longer there. Instead, it's just a chrome piece that goes in a straight line. What nobody's pointing out is they also removed the dart, the arrow darts that are on a 57 Chevy from the hood because that's a clear identifier of a 57 Chevy. If you look up the play field, there's the tail fin of a Bel Air, 57 Chevy Bel Air, with the very obvious uh, white panel that goes across the side. That's been eliminated. It's a straight bar. But they didn't change the flip-open gas cap. So it's still a 57 Chevy. They just eliminated some of the art. And then the final Mm -hmm. one that nobody seemed to notice is, again, over on the left side, um, just right near the the Kiss lane, I believe it is, there is obviously a Cadillac, uh, the tail end, the, the back end of a Cadillac with a very distinctive wedge shape and the bullet uh, taillights. 
that has been altered. Now it's a it's still got the the wing, but it's kind of a flat edge, and it's got double tail lights instead of the single bullet. So they clearly changed things so that it is a nondescript '50s era vehicle instead vehicle. of being clearly mm-hmm. a '57 Chevy and a Cadillac. Yeah, fine. Move on. Yeah, exactly. Because again, I've been playing this since July. I didn't notice once until it was pointed out. If you're that got that much of a hard on for the art, go buy a playfield, hang it on your wall. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yes. It's, it's not been... like they. F- it's not like they fisted a main bit of art in the middle of the playfield or anything. Right. Um, right. I mean, they've, you know, there, there's some festering going on, but and here's the, here's the thing with the, with that, and Farsight proved it. You can alter the artwork, and it still retains uh, the feel of the game for the most part until you go to the level that they did with World Cup Soccer, and they changed yeah, colors, which... and it really did kind of tweak it to the point of oh. almost being like, "There's something distinctly wrong with this." Yeah. Um, but like what they did with near, no fear other than the audio cue drops that they hacked <laughs> and the DMDs that yeah. they hacked, uh, the play field itself didn't look bad, um, with their festering that they did there. Um, let's see, here we, oh, this is, I have an answer to this, I think. Uh, so the question is, wonder if Bally paid for a license to Chevrolet originally, or if they just asked if they could use it for free and ask a different, uh, car maker if someone said no before that. Um, my guess, they didn't ask. It's the same thing they with Space did. Invaders. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the same thing that they did with Space Invaders. Hey, let's just slap it up. We are going to produce all these. By the time they get put on the market and a lawsuit gets filed against us, doesn't matter. We're not going to be making these tables anymore anyway. Mm, exactly. It's the old uh, easier to ask for permission than it is for forgiveness, or ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. Um, well, who was based in Detroit? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jared, yeah. you're asking that. Um, yeah, I am. Well, all the pinball makers were. No, they were around that area. No. In Chicago? Chicago. Oh, is that different? I don't know. Different. Detroit's US. Michigan. Chicago's Illinois. Oh, I know. Right hey, yeah. it, it's forgivable, man. You're in a completely different country. Yes. <laughs> Just, I know that they were in an area that was also renowned for heavy industry. Yes. Like, I mean, we're, yeah. we're talking about states that are you know nicely close to each other. But yeah. um, no, I think, I think back then also the... People were a little more free with licensing, I, or I shouldn't even say mm. licensing. Uh, they weren't so copyright heavy. You could yeah. get away with some of this stuff. Um, did Farsight pay for the license for Chevy? Hell no. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they, they <clears throat> took the same attitude. Go ahead. Let's see if anybody notices. We're a niche digital pinball game. Do you really think GM is like, hey, hey, Wait, that, that creature from the Black Lagoon table is coming out again. Let's let's take a hard, close look at that and see if we can earn an extra couple of dollars. No. Yeah. No. And Zen has commented to the effect, too, that they are the ones that said, well, we don't think is that Farsight necessarily cleared everything that they did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but there's a reason why Zen is getting the licenses that they're getting, because they're being diligent about this and showing that they respect people's licenses and if you show that you respect the license then the license holders are much more willing to work with you yeah that's right they just assume that you're going to do the right thing and they kind of get off your back a yeah. little bit more um and i guarantee mm. that partly comes with how much they've been working with disney and marvel because <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it don't get pretty much bigger or more litigious than that Jeez, exactly. <laughs> oh, geez. yeah um, so, yes, as Pinsir S. Dan said, uh, save the money and uh, pay for Harrison Ford's likeness when it comes to the indie table. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So beyond that, I've looked at the tables. I don't really notice anything different. But again, I didn't look at the cabinet art. I didn't look at the back glass. Um, I'm not sure what else has changed. But those are things that you barely see other than when the table's doing the flyby. That's right. So it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Um, in fact, honestly, like my opinion, this will be controversial. I don't really care at that much as long as it plays really well and it looks ninety percent even the same as it did. Um, 
in the arcade. I don't care. Again, like I said, the opinion. the like when they put the dress on the girl or you know covered up her thigh on Attack from Mars, it kind of looked hacky. It didn't look mm. great. The job they did on the girl here in Creature way better. So yeah. if you're going to do it, do it in such a manner that at least the art style still retains, that lines still flow. Um, yeah. You know, uh, I, I, I honestly don't understand what the issue is with having a cleavage line. It's a single pencil drawing. It's not a photo realistic yeah. thing. I don't, I don't get that. Um, it does make me worried desperately about what they would do with Elvira. Um, but I also understand people going, well, I really don't need to see what horny pinball artists were drawing back then. Because believe me, there's, you go to the seventies <laughs> tables, dude, they were drawing oh, nipples on out. things. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Well, some tables even have like nudity on them. So, right. You know, right. So no, I, I get what you're saying here. Um, but you, you know, if, if you do a, what is it, uh, Franzen, who did all the, the Conan art, you're going to have a certain art style, and I expect that art style to re be respected, um, you know. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, what else? What is there anything else you guys want to know about these two tables? Um, and then I can chime in. I'm gonna give it a moment. Okay, there wasn't there. There was a question earlier about uh, Zacharia and the what the deluxe tables. Mm. Was that the question that we said we'd save yep. for later? Yes, it was. I don't have an answer. Back to you, Jared. No. <laughs> I've got nothing either. I haven't seen the the announcement or anything about them. Um, I saw one thing I... where I think they announced it on Facebook that they were going to. Uh, there's still a couple of tables that they have not done yet. Uh, that were from that same collection, uh, and those are probably going to be the first tables that get done. I think the 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 thing that was in the chat was that they've announced it, and I can't I can't see any news about it. My Google foo is failing me today. <laughs> uh, God damn it, Pinball Wiz! You always show up late, and then you ask questions that we covered like thirty minutes ago. Just watch the thing over again. <laughs> um, watch the thing again, man. We're not going to recap. Uh, how are so, how are then ball physics of Zen's version of the universal tables compared to the real ones? Also, did you know some tweaks compared to volume four? Um, I'm going to say that the, the, the physics are much closer to a real creature. Again, I've played four different creatures at four different people's houses and all four of them played completely different from each other. Mm -hmm. um, I've played monster bashes where the scoop eject was absolutely evil. Um, and other times where it just gave a nice little plop that you could easily catch on your left flipper. So we're talking about two tables that really can play completely different in the wild. Um, I think Zen has done a really good job of making it so the ball is wild. That's the important thing. That it doesn't feel predictable where the ball is going to do, or what the ball, you know, where the ball is going to go, or what the ball is going to do. Uh, you would right, agree so with I'm that. I'm reading the post. Oh. I'm reading the post from Zachary. I found it. My Google foo is restored. Okay, so um, there is a post uh, dated 16th of no October up there, and it says, um, I won't read the, the stuff at the beginning, but it said, the one more final thing we'd like to share. As you all know, we have many different tables in our game, such as Soul State, EM, Remakes, etc. <coughs> Excuse me. Each table category is unique, and it goes on uh, a bit more there, it said. So, but by the end of 2019, we'll also introduce a new table category called Deluxe. Deluxe tables are even more modern tables than the Remakes, and will feature more unique designs and play fields. We will start off the deluxe tables with some remaining themes like Red Show, Cine Star, Soccer Kings, etc. Themes that are not used yet in the remakes, but we may also come up with other unique content, which is right now too early to talk about. Thank you for your support. So there you go. That's the news. There you go. And to answer your question there, Welling, uh, yeah, we do talk about other digital pinball games. It's just Pinball FX3 is the one that's that's the big dog on the block right now, right? I mean, we used to yeah. talk about only 
Pinball Arcade. Arcade. <laughs> and occasionally Zen when they release something new. Right. But it was dominated by Pinball Arcade. But Zen's really the big player in the market. And there's no other commercial digital pinball. We don't actually go into pin mame or anything like that. No, we don't do. Um, we did, we definitely don't commercial. do visual pinball effects or not vis- no. visual pinball. Um, but just last week's episode was entirely about Zacharia. Mm. So that's right. It was. Actually. So welcome to the pinball to the to the uh, podcast and uh, feel free to go over to YouTube and uh, look up the blockade channel and you'll find. Uh, well, this is episode 187. So <laughs> we've got a lot of episodes up there and we do talk about uh, that. We've talked about uh, Black Flaggers uh, Pinball Wicked. Uh, we've, we've talked, talked about, about Pinout. We've talked about all, pretty much all of the digital pinball releases that are on like iOS or um, Google Play, uh, as well as Steam recently. Yeah. So there you go. If it's digital and released uh, as a major thing, then we try and at least uh, cover it. Um, give you know, unless it's a crappy pinball game, then we want nothing to do with it, or we'll just plain mock it. <laughs> yeah, we'll co- we'll cover it, but it won't be a glowing review, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, oh, I, uh, sorry, are we oh. at the end of all the um the FX discussion? I think we are. Okay, so what I did, I got my hands on. This is a real tangent, but I got my hands on a DSi, a Nintendo DSi, the other day. It was gifted to me, um, without a charger, which I'm resolving on eBay for five dollars. Um, okay, but. I realized that the DSi has a massive catalog of games. I think it's like 500 or something ridiculous like that. Um, so I started going through um, and looking at them and uh, came across Metroid Prime Pinball um, on the DSi. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I'll uh, give that a go. And look, it's quite nice as hell. Uh, this is old news, of course. Like, this has been out for years, but it's new to me. So there you go. Um, it's cool how they split it over the two screens. So the ball will actually go between the two screens of the DSi, and um, it's kind of cool. It's like a 3D perspective, but that they've done it so the whole table is in view. So they've worked around the two small screens really nicely in the game. So I thought I'd just mention that and say it's it's actually pretty cool. I also worked out a way of um, basically modding the console without having to do any hard mods. So um, that was also pretty cool. Uh, if if so, you yeah. get the um, uh, Williams collection for that, uh, same thing. It's split over the two screens. Right. Yeah. I'll have to check that out if I can find it. Although that might not. Well, hold on. I don't know if that was for the DSi or if that was for the uh, 3DS. I think that was actually for the 3DS. I'm oh, sure. right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It probably would be 3DS. It would have been of that era. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, uh, yeah, I could be wrong, but yeah. So it's not it's not entirely unique to split it across. It's kind of weird, but <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. DSi is not the same as the 3DS. Yeah, yeah. Thought yes, so. indeed. Okay. Yeah, but yes, having fun. Um, ah, right. It's a pro pinball team. Interesting. Ah, oh, that would explain why it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Um. Okay. I'm going to flip back to the uh, the creature thing just to also mention this. Um, Zen is going to be streaming footage on Thursday morning, I think is when they do it. It's usually, I think, either... Oh, what is it? I think it's 9 a.m. Pacific, so that's 11... No, 12 noon Eastern, um, 3.30 Europe. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, they'll be streaming. They get first dibs, obviously, because it's theirs uh, to stream the game. After that, those of us that are beta testers, uh, we will be able to stream the game. Also, uh, I'm not quite sure that I'm going to be streaming on Thursday, but I'm almost positive I will stream on Friday uh, and show it off then. So uh, that's what to keep your eyes open. So I know I would be streaming... Pinball Wiz, well, you can f- confirm if you'll do it or not in the uh, chat there, Pinball Wiz. But he's probably going to be doing it. Uh, Crow Pinball is probably going to be doing it. Uh, you might even see, although I don't know if he'll be quick enough on it, uh, you might see uh, Spacey's Arcade do it. Uh, Dead Flip might be doing it. There's going to be a lot of options for uh, for those of us that stream the game 
for you to be able to uh, check it out and see what we're talking about too. Yeah, so it uh, will be a it will be a cornucopia of pinball. Yes, um, and then it's back to uh, so once we show that, and once you guys get to see it, that'll then affect what our next podcast is because then we get to talk about your guys' reactions and what you've all noticed because you're obviously going to notice things that we haven't noticed, and then we go back into full on speculation. Yay! Yep. Yay! <laughs> so everything returns to normal. <laughs> as as it should and uh it'll be great yep um trying to think if there's anything else uh, not that i know of no i think we're, we're done yeah i feel exhausted that was like mm. uh, a great pressure uh just was as, released yes <laughs> mm. it really does feel like that doesn't it that's good it's good good all right um so that being said uh follow us on the old uh socials socials uh hit us up on our website which is blockadepinball.com slash episodes uh make sure you head over to youtube and follow the channel make sure you follow uh this channel right here on twitch and then you should be up to date on all the things that we do next week jared what do we have in store or I've put money down that it'll be uh, stuff and things. And possibly some actual gameplay footage. Potentially. Potentially. All right, folks. Hey, we really appreciate, though, you uh, tuning in, watching, and uh, giving us an audience. And today's feedback was fantastic. Do that awesome. every time. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, no, it's it, wicked. It, it, it's kind of like us taking phone calls. <laughs> yeah, except without actual voice. Yes. Yeah, because we don't want to hear you. Just as good. Just as fun. (laughs) Okay, until next time, peeps, we out of here. Bye-bye. See you later.